Unity has just released an updated VR multiplayer template and I'm really excited about it. Jad and I have made several videos on this topic and we know how difficult, confusing and frustrating it can be to set up a multiplayer experience. So a huge thanks to the Unity's team for making this. It's gonna be of a big help to the developers to get started with VR multiplayer. So in this video, we are gonna check out this new template and see how we can use it. Alright then, let's get started. So here I have my Unity Hub open. Let's create a new project. I'll be using the version 2022.3.28 F1 LTS. Make sure that you are using a version 2021.3 or above. Then from the list of templates, you can search for VR multiplayer, select it and download the template. Now this template comes along with Unity's XI Interaction Toolkit, Netcode for Game Objects and Unity's Gaming Services to help you get started in creating multiplayer VR experiences. Once you have the template downloaded, give your project a name and make sure that you have selected connect to Unity Cloud. Now this is really important because selecting it will automate your project's gaming service setup and then click on create project. So here we have the project open and the first thing that you'll see is this pop-up window. Now when you click on the start UGS configuration button, it will take you through the steps required to set up a networked environment. Now since we have selected connect to Unity Cloud before creating this project, just following this tutorial will set up everything for us. So click on this button and on the right side you'll see the tutorials which you can read through and then click on next. Now this will open up the project settings window and it will show you that it has set up all the services. Then you can close this window and now it will show you the steps required if you have to change it later on. You can click on next and this will set up the VVox package which will be used for voice and text communication. Then you can close this window and click on next and as you can see just like that the UGS has been configured. Now here you can either click on done and explore the sample scene on your own or you can go to the next scene tutorial which will show you how the scene has been set up. So let's click on that. Once the basic scene loads, click on the next button and from here all you need to do is follow the tutorial. So let's click on the play button and it says here to go online we need to click on the join online button which is a part of the network manager VR multiplayer game object and a part of the network manager script. So let's click on join online and as you can see we have successfully connected and it gives you some more instructions on how you can join from the other devices. Alright so let's go to the next tutorial which is player customization. Now this tutorial talks about the player setup like the player customization which lets you decide how your avatar will look like. XRI network player avatar which networks your avatar so that your movement can be seen by the rest. Avatar IK system which handles the head and body movement to make it look realistic and also the hand IK system to handle the controller and hand inputs. And it also talks about the player name tag that will be displayed to all the players in a row. So to check this out, click on next. As you can see, it uses the player appearance UI prefab which allows the user to edit their name and select a random color at runtime. Now you can also check out the offline player avatar script to see how the player colors are updated. Next we have the XRI network player avatar which has been set up with the avatar mesh and three game objects to track the head, left hand and right hand. Now this prefab has the XRI network player script which tracks and updates the movement of head and controllers across the network and the XR avatar visual takes care of updating the avatar mesh. This prefab also has the XR avatar IK which handles both the head and body position and it has the XR hand pose replicator IK which replicates the hand pose over the network. Then we have the player name tag prefab which displays the player name on top of their head and it has a visual effect which gets activated when the player is talking. Now this prefab will also indicate if the player is muted. And that's it. Now let's go to the next tutorial to see how the lobbies and rooms are set up. In this tutorial we get to see how a lobby has been set up which allows us to create multiplayer rooms. We also get to see how the room data such as room code, number of players, names of the players can be gathered and displayed. Here we have the lobby UI prefab which makes use of the lobby manager script and the XRI network manager script to allow the users to join any private room using a room code or quickly join a public room or it even allows the user to create their own room. Next we have the room info UI prefab which displays the information such as the room name, the room code, the participant count and the list of players that are inside the room. So with these two prefabs, you'll be able to set up a lobby and display the room information. Alright, just like these previous tutorials, we have two more. One which talks about how the entire sample scene has been set up 
and the other as to how a mini game has been set up inside the room. Make sure to go through this tutorial as well to get a better understanding of this project. Now the best way to test it is to build the application and run it on our headset and to do that you have to go inside file build settings here if you are using pc vr then the platform can stay in windows however if you want to run it on your quest devices then you can select android and switch the platform once that's done click on player settings click on xr plugin management make sure that the open xr plugin has been checked then go inside open xr and here we have the oculus touch controller profile now if you want to use hand interaction then you can click on the plus icon and add hand interaction profile as well then you can go inside the project validation tab and make sure that there are no issues. Now you can close this window. Make sure to connect your headset to your laptop or PC. Click on build and run. Create a new folder called as builds. Give your build a name and click on save. Alright, so the application has been successfully built onto my headset. Now before we proceed in your Unity editor, search for XR device simulator. Select the prefab and add it to your scene. Now if you're new to the XR simulator, then I will leave a link for his documentation in the description below which shows you how you can use the mouse and keyboard input to drive the simulated XR controllers and the XR head mounted display. But for now, you can just follow along with me. So here, first you need to press the letter T so that you can select just your left controller. Now you can use W to move forward. Now on this canvas, we can set our name. Let's change it from Unity Creator to Simulator. And now the easiest way to do it is to press the escape button and now you'll be able to use your mouse. So click on Unity Creator, press and hold the right mouse click and look down. And here let's clear the name and set it as Sim. Click on enter. Let's change our color and click on confirm. Once that's done, we can create a new room. Let's enter a room name. Let's call it as test and click on enter and create it. Alright, so the room has been created. Now once again, you can press the T button to select your left controller and use W to move forward. Now as you come closer to this canvas, it will display the room code and the participants. So now we can use this room code and join from our headset. So here I have launched the application on my headset. Let's move towards this canvas and change the name. Let's select a random color and click on confirm. Now to join the room that we created from our Unity Editor, let's click on enter room code and enter the code over here. And now when you press enter, it will take you to that room. Alright, so I've successfully joined the room and here you can see the simulator. So let me just move over here and now if I remove my headset and I see from the simulator, you will be able to see yourself, which is really cool. Alright, now that we have seen how the VR multiplayer template works, what are the next steps? Well, it is to check out all the prefab that's present in the scene and the different components that are added to it. Once that's done, you can create an empty scene and try and recreate the sample scene. If you get stuck somewhere or if you face any problems, do let us know in the comments below or you can post it on our Discord community and we'll try our best to help you solve it. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.